10, 8, 7, <coughs> 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, <coughs> under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good afternoon, Warriors. I'm McCauley. And I'm Katie. And this is your Friday, October 4th, feature edition of Warrior TV News. On today's broadcast, we get to know the dance team, take a closer look at Whiteland School security, learn more about what the cheerleaders have in store for this season, and see how movies impact the people of WCHS. All this and more on today's feature edition of Warrior TV News. With a new school year comes new clubs. Second year dance team intensity has the potential for a great season. With their talent comes hard work. Warrior TV had the advantage of seeing what the season's plans are for the dance team. Kyle Harmoning and Lexi Miller take a look at just what intensity has to offer. From La Rose to Style, Dance Refinery and all, these girls came together and started a dance team at Whiteland this fall. We go and see what it's like to be a member of intensity. I decided to join the dance team because I have a dance at a studio outside of school and I wanted to start to show school spirit through dance. We're going to compete at multiple competitions and we're also going to perform at basketball games and football games. We're going to be doing all kinds of dance such as hip hop and jazz and palm. We do about every style of routine minus tap and clogging, so basically jazz and hip hop. Now that we have insight from the girls, we talk to the people who made intensity happen. This was actually a decision that had several stakeholders involved. It was not my decision alone. What I did was, was I took the desires of a group of young ladies and some parents and followed that through to an ultimate answer of a yes or no because there was an interest and as long as we have students that are interested in doing something that is for the betterment of themselves and the school, then we want to help facilitate that. The team is a wonderful group of talented young ladies who uh, move to the music with style and, and grace and class. So um, what they're like, they're like warriors. They've got a desire to be part of the school experience and do what they do best. My name is Tracy Kaiser and I am the coach of the Intensity Whiteland Community High School competitive dance team. We have six girls on the floor this year, and um, we did an audition, one night audition at the studio, um, where they went through stretching technique, um, progressions across the floor, and then they did learn a combination and perform that combination for our judges. It's based on a point system. They're just hard workers. They come in, they're ready to work, they're committed to doing well. Um, we practice um, from 5.30 to 8.30 once a week and it's a good solid three hours of hard work. Your Whiteland dance team has been working really hard and are expected to have a great season. Come out and support your intensity dance team. Inside the Glen Ray, I'm Lexi with Kyle, Warrior TV News. Parent-teacher conferences are coming up. Your parents should have received a letter in the mail, so go to ptc.com now and schedule your conference time.
As concerns about school safety continue to grow around the country, Wyland has had the opportunity to make advancements to make our school a safer place. As many students have noticed, changes have been made involving how the WCHS staff handles these situations. Nick McCorkle and Jacob Simmons give us an in-depth look on school security. The safety of students and staff should be the first priority in any environment. WCHS goes to great lengths to ensure that we are safe. Warrior TV News talks to some staff members to see what they know about the school safety. Um, I think the new buzzer system is something that's needed for a school our size, and since we kind of have more of a campus feel, having the freshman center and having the academy and having the main building, it's just nice to have that kind of added measure to make sure that we know who's coming in the building and kind of what their purpose is. And then we have the obvious drills that we have to do. We do the, um, the fire drill every month, and then we also do the tornado, the earthquake, and then the lockdown drills as well, just to make sure that staff and students are prepared um, in the unfortunate event something were to happen. We have trained administration that, that know how to deal with specific incidents. We have the local police that work with us. We have student leaders who know what to do in situations. We have teachers that are trained. We're all connected digitally. Um, there are camera systems. I think it just makes the students and staff feel that they're safe and that way um, they're able to concentrate on their academics and their learning um, and not have to worry about um, their safety. We talked to WCHS student Brandon Shrimps to see what he knows about the safety measures taken by WCHS. I think the uh, new security system does a really good add-on to the office and uh, it really ensures the safety of the students and teachers alike in the building. Free safety and uh, it also ensures uh, future safety for future generations of students and uh, all teachers, everyone else in the building. From the new intercom system to the monthly drills, WCHS always puts safety first and foremost. Outside the front doors, I'm Jacob, here with Nick, Warrior TV News. Many Warriors notice the cheerleaders on the sideline of each Warrior football game. Cheering under the Friday night lights is not all they work hard for. With many cheerleading competitions in store, Coach Lima and, and the team give Bailey Davis, Tori Eisen, and Ashley Hamer their plans for this season. Not very many people realize how much hard work and dedication the WCHS competition cheerleaders put into a 2 minute and 30 second routine. Warrior TV News caught up with Coach Lima and cheerleaders to get insight on the hard work, work put forth this upcoming season. My name is Jen Lima. I'm the competition cheerleading coach. Uh, my expectations for this season are to improve ourselves from last year. Last year we finished sixth in the state. This year we're hoping for top five. And to hit a clean routine and of course be Greenwood at Mid-State. My goals for the season are to place top five in state and hopefully win Mid-State. My goals are to get my standing tuck and to hit all my stunts. My goals for this year are to land my triple toe tuck and hit all of our stunts at Mid-State. Now that WCHS has an understanding of the goals and expectations, Warrior TV wonders about the most challenging and favorable aspects of competition cheer. Uh, my favorite part about competition cheer is how close we all are and how much we work together. My favorite stunt is probably my pyramid, music pyramid, because it's fun. My favorite stunt in the, the routine would have to be the pyramid, where we like, it's called a leapfrog, we like throw the girl over. My favorite part about coaching is when the girls hit a solid routine and when they get really excited and come off the floor and know that they've hit a solid routine. And I would say definitely at the end of the season when we know that we've hit our goals and getting ready to start that new season so we can improve on our goals. A lot of preparation has been put into this year's season for competition cheerleaders in hopes that all their hard work pays off and, help them, and helps them reach their goals this year. Outside of the trophy case, I'm Bailey, here with Tori and Ashley. Warrior TV News. Hey, Coley. Hey, Wyatt. Dude, do you know what the dress up day for Friday's game is? It's Mow Down Mooresville. Okay, Mow Down Mooresville. How would you dress up for Mow Down Mooresville? Like a farmer, duh. Okay, well, how would I dress up like a farmer? Like this. Oh. From drama to action to comedies, feature films and movies can have a lasting impact on the students and staff here at WCHS. 
Abby PV and Wyatt Chitwood take a look at just how movies are affecting Whiteland Community High School. Movies, movies, movies. Their significance sometimes goes unseen and underappreciated, but we found peers and teachers who understand and love the art form. I grew up watching them, and it. I started to, as I watched them, I started to analyze them more and find out what makes them good, and that just got me really interested in it. The kind of visual in-depth study of human behavior, it's a reflection of ourselves and our society and what we think of ourselves, and that's fascinating. It's it's an art form that combines a whole lot of other art forms, and um, like music and visuals and uh, literature and a whole bunch of other stuff, and it's really interesting how it all comes together. They are such a passionate thing. You can really see when the filmmaker puts his heart and soul into a movie. From romance to action, comedy to mystery, movies are an essential part of society. For your TV ask students and staff why they think film production is an imperative creative outlet. Why do I think making a movie is important? Because I think making art is important. The filmmaker gets to uh, convey his ideas and make his art, and then movies are a huge part of our culture as a society, and if that goes away, then if we just don't make movies anymore, then that's a huge part of our culture that's just totally gone. Films that have just intricate, important human storylines. Schindler's List, The Color Purple, Steel Magnolias. Atonement, 500 Days of Summer, Goodwill Hunting. Jurassic Park, because it's such like a good combination of uh, film and music and everything about it and special effects and everything. Movies have such an influence on the audience. They can entertain, inform, educate, influence in just about any way possible. For nearly 130 years, movies have been entertaining and intriguing audiences around the world. With new creative forces coming forth, films will continue to do so for years to come. From the historic Art Craft Theater, I'm Abby with Wyatt, Warrior TV News. <laughs> And that's all we have for you on this feature edition of Warrior TV News. Until next time, have a good one.